Hey guys, what's up? This is Gollum, and welcome to Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, the prologue of Phantom Pain, which is obviously not going to be out yet. Now, if you've been looking around on the internet and you've seen all the reviews and all the negative comments, then you already see that people are like, oh no, Ground Zeroes is short, it's just a demo, whatever. Uh, but, you know, I've kind of had this mentality that, well, it's just a prologue. You know, Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 3 both had like prologue segments that were only like an hour or two long, and that's kind of how I'm treating it. Plus, it was only $3, so I'm excited to see how the gameplay will evolve with it being open world and all that kind of stuff. I mean, we did just go through the entire Metal Gear Solid series just in time, right just in time, to be able to play Ground Zeroes along with everybody else. So let's get this started. In an era when the world was still divided into East and West, the boss, the mother of special forces and hero of World War II, defected to the Soviet Union. Oh, this stuff again. Under orders from the U.S. government for blah, 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 Naked Snake took a life. If you don't know the story up till now, you probably should. At the very least, you should know the story of Peace Walker and Snake Eater, because that's kind of where we're following along since we are continuing on with Big Boss. This is going to talk about how he started up the MSF. Uh, after returning to uh, returning his back in America, Snake began recruiting soldiers with the help of Kazuhara Miller, a man he first met in a war zone. In 1974, the pair constructed a secret base in the Caribbean. Hold up now. Snake's private army continued to grow until their need for a determinant prompted them to obtain a nuclear weapon. Meanwhile, Major Zero, the man who was who once worked with Snake to create the Special Forces Unit Fox, used the Philosopher's Legacy to expand his intelligence organization, Cypher. Cypher proceeded to spread its roots into the farthest depths. Of the United States. With no military of his own, Zero longed to rejoin his old comrade Snake and sent his operative Paz to make contact. Paz attempted to steal the nuclear equipped walking battle tank Metal Gear Zeke, but was thwarted by Snake. Hey, wait, wait, go back. Ah, no, now it's just giving me tips. Ah, this isn't the story. All right, let's see. Un infiltrating enemy territory, being discovered is a constant threat. Avoid detection by keeping out of sight, staying away from spotlights, and using the environment for cover. If you detect the enemy, we'll call from. Eh, well, we you know most of this stuff. You can place markers on enemies, prisoners, and vehicles. Well, let's just find these things out through gameplay. Oh no, is that Chico? Told us everything. Don't worry, I kept my word. He didn't suffer long. Here. You earned it. How's it feel to play the traitor? No more war games. You're a real man now, soldier. Ricardo Chico Valencio Libre, young volunteer in Snake's private army. Man, when will you get captured and not reveal information to the enemies? Give my regards to your boss when you get home.
Ten days ago, we got reports that Pass was still alive. She survived. She was rescued by a Belizean fisherman who found her drifting in the Caribbean. So what's the plan? Silence her before we're compromised? No. I've got something else in mind. Our friends at Cypher suspect Pass could be a double agent. She's being held for interrogation at a camp on the southern tip of Cuba. Black site. Nice. A slice of American pie on communist soil and out of U.S. legal jurisdiction. The upcoming inspection of Mother Base has to be connected somehow. The timing's too perfect. The U.N.'s nuclear inspection. My guess is they're trying to corroborate Pass's leak. We're an army without a nation. Word of our capabilities gets out, and we'll have the whole world out to shut us down. Having an American private intelligence agency involved is bad news. Cypher's the ones who sent Paz to us in the first place. She knows their true nature. Right. Paz is our only link to Cypher. If she's still alive, we need her on our side. Well, it's just been kind of implied that he killed her? He said her suffering was quick? I'm not sure. I can't imagine they killed Paz off that quickly, though. Eh, look! It says Fox, but backwards! Now it doesn't even say anything! Trojan horse is in! Skull face commander of these XOF. This pirate crackdown's a go. Move. the other target? That would be Chico. He's being held in the same area as Paz. Last radio contact was 40 hours ago. Find them both. Bring him back alive. Enter the compound from the south cliff. Secure Chico and Paz, then report back from the rendezvous point. Isn't that a little bit reckless? I mean, if you're trying to discard them, maybe throwing them into the wind is a bad idea. XOF slash Fox. Oh. We'll send a chopper from across the Cuban border. You should be back at Mother Base in time for lunch. You'll probably just miss our guests. The only catch is you go in solo. The politically sensitive nature of the mission meets backup is not an option. Fine. I like some alone time now and then. Wait, did he just discard his super fancy goggles? 
What was the point of it then? Also, yeah, they changed the voice actor, but I, I don't have that much of an issue with it. What the hell is this light shit that keeps popping up? Chico and Paz are being held in an old, unused part of the compound. Get inside and head northeast. Ah, yeah, sure, I'm just gonna have to learn all the controls again. This is an infiltration mission. You've got to stay out of sight. Before you go any further, use your binoculars to recon the area. What do you see? Press the call button to get more intel. What's the call button? This? That's the refugee camp. I hear it's where they hold refugees from countries like Cuba and Haiti. Okay. So, you're saying the prisoners wouldn't be there. Hello. It's a guard. Don't let him see you. Avoid combat whenever possible. Should I shoot out the spotlight? No, that'd be a dumb idea. Hmm. I want to mark all the guys around the area. So that way I know where they are. But I don't know where everything else could be. What about that area? There's a door in the fence. There's a door in the fence. Hey! You could either break through the fence or go around. What do you think? All quiet. Those new guys. You see their choppers? Who are they with? These me, man. Green berets, seals. Those ain't no jarhead birds, I can tell you that. Some paramilitary setup? Well, some of the guys are saying... You know what? Best we just trap us, right? <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, it's probably a great idea to drop it before, you know, bad shit happens. Those guys are obviously sneaky no matter who you are. An anti-air gun. A chopper's worst nightmare. Well, if they ever send choppers after me, I could use it. Let's see if I can see any more enemies. Now, I have the option of going around... Or going through the fence. Although, I don't see what he means by there being a hole in the fence. So I'm gonna have to go and look around. Keep low. You can check the controls on the pause screen. Alright. So on the PS4, the pause menu and the droid menu thing are both on the touchpad. You just have to touch different sides of it. It's, a, it's gonna be a little, little bit weird. Uh, you know what? Let me turn off my controller sound because it kind of sound you know what nah fuck it we'll see how annoying it is i don't like the fact that my controllers make noise now <laughs> uh, but that's just because i'm a let's player um head for the old prison you'll find the targets there hello i see you damn i didn't get a chance to mark him i like this ui it's very simple very nice Gets its point across. I'm taking a thousand years to get across this place, aren't I? Uh, oh, hello. Look at my favorite weapon, the tranquilizer. Is that the hole? No, I'm just seeing things. Crap. Oh, shit. Come on, Spotlight dude. You need to just keep your eyes turned away. You know what? I should knock out the Spotlight dude. He can be my first test. As to what my capabilities are in this game. Oh, that's the door. Okay. I don't know, I heard him say hole, so... Huh. You can use your iDroid to check all sorts of operational data. The map, objectives, the target's locations. It'll help a lot if you let- Ah, move! <laughs> oh, yeah! Now what? I can get his rifle? Uh, it's okay looking- Oh. Didn't mean to shove you around, buddy. Alright. Uh, I could either- Kick your ass. What? Whoa! What? Oh no! What have 
already done! Oh, shit! Okay, so I pressed triangle because I didn't know what that fucking icon meant. But apparently it put me on the spotlight, which the fucking guy took advantage of, and now I'm in a shitty situation! Fine. I guess we're going loud. How awful! I wanted to pat him down! But no, that's not happening. What am I doing? Do I just hold it? Okay. Don't push yourself. Fall back to a safe position. Oh god, the controls are like vastly different from Peace Walker. Oh no! I am so boned. All right, you know I I like your idea, pa uh, Kaz. Run to a safe location. A.K. This way. Let's see if I can make this shot count. <laughs> oh! You know what? Unless there's, like, a Fulton recovery system, I think this time I won't be as anal about taking out enemies lethally or not. As long as it's done in a stealthy way, I don't mind. Oh, God. If you ready your weapon while crawling, you can move horizontally left or right. If you do that holding the dash button, you'll move faster. Hold L2 plus L3 to roll. I guess that means when I'm on the ground. There we go. And now I'm just digging around with the controls and stuff. So I guess I can't loot anything off this guy, so I'm gonna dump his body off out of the tower. <laughs> you worthless son of a bitch. Alright. So it's gonna take some getting used to, because I'm used to the Peace Walker controls, which I think were a little bit more refined slightly for getting around. But I think it's just it's it's gonna be getting used to pressing X but not as many times just so I can actually crouch rather than crawl. If that makes any sense. I- it, it's hard to demonstrate. Okay. Now, I'm going... Do you hear a car? Uh-oh. Your binoculars are equipped with a directional microphone. You should be able to listen in on whatever they're pointed at. That's good. You can use your iDroid to check all sorts of operational data. The map, objectives, the target's locations. It'll help a lot if you let it. Okay. I'm just taking out spotlight dudes. Now so I can get into this base without a area. lot of trouble. You can bring up the target's location on your iDroid. Alright. Let me get inside this little terminal so I don't have to get caught while I do that. My target is over here at the end of this little street. Last final location, enemy has left the area, landing zone. Landing zone. What the hell is a last final location? Oh, because they don't, we don't know where they are anymore. And so... We don't actually... Okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and head on over to the end of this place. Alright. Heading to my mission objective. Hopefully I don't run into any enemies along the way. At least not in a way that gets me screwed over. Contact me if you need advice. Eyes open, boss. You can hold R3 to peek around corners. But I don't need to do that because I killed the guy who was looking around here. Uh oh. There's a car! A big one, too. Holy shit. It's a truck. Think you can pull yourself up into the cargo bed? Well, I could, but it's going the opposite way of where I want to go, so that'd be fucking stupid. Sorry, Kaz. But maybe in the future. Maybe in the future I'll jump into a truck. Ooh. Ladders and high grounds are always cool.
Now, I don't know how good the enemy's visibilities are, so I'm just gonna have to hope that... I don't get screwed over. Ah! Just gonna keep on marking every single person I can see. Take a good look at the enemy through your binoculars, and you can mark him. Marked enemies can be sensed when nearby, even if there's a wall between you and them. But it only works if you stop and take the time to focus your attention. This helps you maintain situational awareness. Try it. <laughs> ah, that would require me putting my- uh oh. I've sent VIs of the targets to your iDroid. Take a good look. Okay, that guy saw me a little bit. Uh, that was a little close. But I hid in time, so at least there's that. Do I have any goggles? Oh, well, how'd you look at that? That makes it real easy to spot the guy. Okay. 